Hi, you guys. This is Prophet Ophelia Sabrina Akepo, and I am back again via the leading of the Holy Spirit with another prophetic word for you guys. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the Spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. And Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy, telling your story so your name can be glorified by the redemptive power of the blood of Jesus Christ. These blessings I'm asking and that I do pray. Amen, 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 and amen. Title of this prophetic word, you guys, is you have entered into your birthright, your legacy, along with your inheritance. You have entered into your birthright, your legacy, along with your inheritance. So, you guys, for the last past couple of days, I've actually been running across this message on my cell phone that stated, learn how to add a legacy contact. And it did not dawn on me until I glanced at it again on today in the Holy Spirit auction that this is the timing that he wanted me to bring this word forth. And what the Holy Spirit is saying is your psalm of pertaining to your birthright, your legacy, and inheritance has been added to your life of all that was promised. And the Holy Spirit is saying, this does not stop at you. It even goes down to the next generation of your children's children. That there has a, that this has been a complete carryover, excuse that, and a layout plan, even an estate plan, if you will, a deed even an agreement of you being the possessor and the successor. Won't he do it? Of the land that you have entered, your rightful place as an heir, joint heir, and fellow heirs to the throne of grace of God, that it goes deeper even into a deeper revelation because you are about to represent unfolding stories that have not been told as a representative of Jesus Christ and as a reflection of my power that has been placed deep down on the inside of you that is oozing out. They are going to know all along that the true birth, the originality, the individuality, and the practicalities of my traits rub a different way with a uniqueness that has staying power. They're going to be able to see it on you. They're going to be able to know it's on you. And they're going to be able to see my reflection on you. And in you, Holy Spirit gave me scripture of Romans 8 and 17. And if we are his children, then we are his heirs, also heirs of God, fellow heirs with Christ, sharing his spiritual blessing and inheritance. If indeed we share his suffering, so that we may also share in his glory. You've signed, sealed, and delivered the deal. The deed, excuse me, to succeed as a successor of inheritance and legacy even before you were formed in your mother's womb. He chose you and you were marked even stamped with a seal of approval and certified as a no-touch zone and all the time alone was for you to tap into your given birthright, your true 
inheritance and your true name. First Peter two and nine, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special position that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. This is why you have been feeling uncomfortable because you have discovered your, you have discovered your value and that you were destined for more and that it is time to take your rightful place at where you were designed, even inclined and on your father's mind at the, as the sole heir to his throne of grace because he is crowning you and pouring in his light, the light of his beauty and has rescued you from the ashes and from shame to fame for his glory. The Lord made sure that you were not hungry for soup, but for spiritual food. And this is why he continued to protect you and disconnect you of anyone who was trying to discredit you and move them out because he did not want anyone to come in to try to take recognition or take the credit for the legacy that he placed on the inside of you. Your birthright, nor your inheritance, that is so rightfully belongs to you. Holy Spirit knew that he that hungers and thirsts after righteousness shall be filled and would be able to sustain as the inheritor of his promise and you have proven that you are worthy of his legacy. You are worthy of the inheritance. You are worthy of that birthright. Matthew 5 and 5. Blessed, joyful, nourished by God's goodness are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Those who actively seek right standing with God. For they will be completely satisfied. You have worked for it. Holy Spirit is saying. You have proven capability for it. And no one can take it away from you. The Lord is saying, well done, child. The birthright, legacy, and inheritance. It is yours. Proverbs 13 and 22. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children and the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the hands of the righteous. You guys, definitely tap into this word right here. These rhyme words are saying something that is spectacular that you have entered into your birthright, you have entered into your legacy, and you have entered into your inheritance. You have worked for this. You have worked really hard for this. And you have proven to God that you can be trusted to carry the cross throughout all the world. That you have proven that that crown that you have received on your head was all along spirit led. You have proven from the very beginning when he chose you, when he knew that you had the capabilities, that you had the intentionality, that you had the commitment, that you had the consistency, consistency that he can trust you to carry out, that you will have staying power in this hour. And this is the reason why you have entered into your birthright your legacy, and your inheritance. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. And don't forget to hit that noti bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. Welcome to the fam.
I pray that this word really exhortated and exhorted your life on today and edified your life on today in such a phenomenal way. Definitely allow these words to permeate, absorb, flow, and saturate in your spirit because God is saying something here. That he seen how committed you were, that you were going to follow after him no matter what you had to do, no matter what you had to go through. He is so proud of you. He's saying, well done, my good and faithful servant, for you have a stand power in this hour. That you fought the good fight of faith and that you stayed and you stayed with him. You didn't turn your back on him. You kept going. You said, I'm going to walk it out because I believe that God has released. I believe that God has produced manifestation. I believe that God has produced fruition. And I'm going to walk it out because God has already worked it out. And I trust it. I trust it. I trust them according to Hebrews 11 and 1 or what his word says. That now faith, it is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things that are not seen. His word says he would never leave you nor forsake you. And he said you never left him. And because you have had staying power, this is your hour to inherit. The legacy, the inheritance your birthright. I am turning your ashes into beauty. I am turning your shame into fame. I am turning your rejection into acceptance and approval. You have entered into your birthright, your legacy, along with your inheritance. The Lord wants you to know that he has crowned you. And once again, I hear the Holy Spirit saying, well done, congratulations, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. Now you have graduated. Now this is your promotional process. Now you have made it center stage. This is your time to shine. You are that very essence of light that is shining so bright. And your name is is going to be recognized because he knows that he can trust you. He knows that you are a carrier of the breach. He knows that you are a carrier of his word. You have entered your birthright. You have entered your legacy and you have entered your inheritance. Thus saith the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. And I love each and every one of you guys. I'm constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you guys and see each and every one of you guys through to the greatness of success of God's best. Knowing that we have inherited the legacy that is non-stop and the Lord said he has changed and rearranged everything and you have made it through to your promise and you have made it through to the very top and the Lord is saying this is going to be continuous this is going to be non-stop because now he is a pivotal part of the plan and his hands is all up in it and he is all up in your business. That's said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus. Take care and we will most certainly talk on the next. God bless you. Bye-bye.